Okay, let's press the bearings into these linkages now. Um, we'll do both at once. Um, well, not both at once, but so I'll do these uh, both together in the same uh, in the same video. Uh, right, the bearings for the uh, rocker linkage. Again, need to make sure they're going nice and square. Shouldn't need a great deal of force. Just that you can't um, you can't get the tool in always whilst it's uh, got the handles on. This this one does actually, but uh, just that's why the handles both are both threaded separately so that you can take it apart and, and offer it through and you know thread it together. So nice and smooth. I've, I've already I already anti seized those before I pop, popped it in there. Um, exactly the same for the other side. For this one. Um, Again, a quite a tight fit, so just screw that rod into your handle all the way through. Put that big washer just to rest on the other side. Put your bearing onto your um, tool again. Can't get that the wrong way around because it's got a little uh, spigot there just to uh, to sit it on. Put that into there. I'm just keeping a bit of pressure on the handle on the back side just to keep it pressed nice and square against there and then when I push that in I should just feel that just yeah that's just going in I can just feel it. it's just nice and smooth that um, this is carbon this frame so you don't want to be doing uh, don't want to be going crazy pressing things in so just presses in you feel it stop Again, don't need to be exerting too much excessive force on there. It does feel like you're exe pressing excessive force. Uh, stop, just take everything out, take the tool apart and just check it. And you'll be able to see from the back side that it's, uh, that it's in correctly and pressed in the correct way around. Okay, 